Hey guys, it's Electric Cuts back with another video. Right now we're heading to go do a little tree trimming job. Um, so I just got out of work and I'm heading to go do that. Right now it's a race against time. It's a, a race against the sun. Currently it is 5.23 p.m. And we are having sundown here in South Texas at around 7.30. So that just gives us a little bit, a little bit over two hours, about two hours on the job that we'll have. So uh, yeah, guys, I just, basically I'm gonna try to do this with uh, only electric tools. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I did bring some of my gas tools just in case I do need them. I have the trailer hooked up. I don't know if you can see it back there looks a little rickety you guys have seen it on some of my other videos I brought basically the electric chainsaw the electric pole saw um, I brought um, my electric uh, what's it called uh, hacksaw not not hacksaw it's the um, not, not a jigsaw it's I forgot what it's called. It's it's to cut down two by fours and nails and all that. Uh, and I also brought man, these people are all in the way. I also brought um, a six foot ladder, six foot aluminum ladder. Brought the trailer so I can throw all the stuff, all the debris. So we're gonna see how this turns out, and I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. So stay tuned. We're going to try to do this all electrically. Um, we're going to take down some banana trees. And then uh, the lady wanted me to trim up uh, a bush and probably remove another small tree. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we just arrived on location. So there are the banana trees over there that we have to take down. And then we're going to be trimming up that bush that's blocking the window. And then this one to the left, I think she's going to want me to remove. So let's go ahead and, and check it out. I'm, I might go in through this empty lot here to get to their backyard. Uh, but I need to check with the homeowner to see if it's okay with them. Look at the houses over here. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. So... Yeah, guys, we're going to go and talk to the homeowner and see if it's okay if we cross to, through that empty lot or if she's going to want us to go through her through her lot to get the, the, uh, the trees removed, the limbs removed. So uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this is it. These are the banana trees. It's pretty big, but these trees are mainly water, so it shouldn't be that hard taking it down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started and we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're a few minutes in, guys, maybe like 10, 15, 20 minutes in, and we already took some of the small stuff down. We have yet to take down the big stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the ladder to uh, bring down some of those leaves up there and then cut those trees down from the top to the bottom. I don't want to drop anything on the house or break a window or anything like that. So we're going to go get our ladder and we're going to continue. We'll see you guys in a bit. Check this out, guys. When you cut these banana trees, I had never seen this before, but the center of them starts to come up. That is crazy to me. Look at that. I had never ever seen that. Look at this one, how far it went up. I cut those clean, guys. The water pressure appears to be pushing the centers out. Let me show you this big one, see if it's coming up. Yeah, this one's coming up too. I just cut this one right now. That is pretty awesome to me, guys. Go ahead and comment down below. I know we're not from the jungle here in South Texas. So some of you guys that live out in maybe jungle areas or have cut down banana trees before have seen this. 
but I had never ever seen this before guys comment down below tell me what you think we're gonna keep on cutting guys and we'll see you in a little bit hey what's up guys check it out it's a whole bunch of rubble but we got them down we're just gonna finish cutting that down and try to take a much as much of the root out as we can we got our trailer here our setup we're gonna go ahead and load all the stuff in there chop up whatever doesn't fit and fit it correctly so uh, this is a tool that I've been using guys it's the uh, a sawzall I couldn't find the name for it earlier but there it is it's a Ryobi 18 volt sawzall with a 4 amp hour battery it's working pretty good let's see how much battery we got this is the only tool I've used so far uh, minus the ladder and it's still got full power so yeah there you have it guys so this thing cuts through it like butter and I got the uh, the pruning it's the pruning um, what's it called the pruning blade here so yep highly recommend it if you're gonna be cutting some soft trees like these banana trees highly recommend it we'll see you in a bit guys okay guys we're all <coughs> loaded up and ready to go if you look back there there's a truck I don't know if they're just uh, keeping an eye maybe they're they got a call that somebody crossed on their property. I don't know if they're upset, uh, but we're going to see right now. We're going to wait it out a little bit see if they leave. We're going to tie down the trailer, uh, tie down the, uh, the ladder, and then we'll hopefully they leave and we'll be able to make our getaway. Not sure what they're doing there. Maybe they're waiting up for us. Maybe they're just on the phone. We're taking scenic pictures of the clouds or something. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, we're all packed up and ready to go. And that truck is still there. He took off and then he came back. He's pointing the other way. So we're going to go ahead and head out. We'll probably record so you guys can see what happens. Hopefully nothing uh, is going to happen. So we'll see. Stay tuned guys hey what's up guys we uh, are closing out the video right now yesterday I didn't get a chance to close it out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out right now the last clip that you guys saw was of me uh, having the trailer loaded up and waiting out uh, hopefully not getting in trouble or crossing uh, somebody's property onto somebody's property but uh, nothing happened I didn't get to video that but nothing happened the guy was just there on the phone or uh, doing some business on the crowd on the on the house across so yeah guys uh, <clears throat> everything went well and uh, we got back home unloaded the trailer well actually I just unhooked it I didn't unload it that was way too much stuff to unload uh, last night but yeah if you like this video guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions concerns anything that you wanted to let me know and definitely please please subscribe to my channel and we will see you on the next one guys